mag that I've put through this 300 blackout. And um, we're going to give a real quick overview. We're going to get into some specs real quick. But what I am going to say is, God darn it, this thing's amazing. Like, um, this Bear Creek Arsenal 16-inch 300 blackout is awesome. Awesome. Uh, I was really, really happy and really, really impressed. I, I I really loved the 5.56 when I first you know started shooting this shooting that and like you know I'm not like some gunsmith I'm not the best person but I understand how to put things together you know and um, this lower is by FMK not FNK or anything like that FMK and it's a polymer it's a polymer lower. And I was really, I was kind of a little, like, you know, up in the air. Um, but, yeah, this thing functioned just about flawlessly. Um, I was using uh, reload, reloaded ammo. It's the only ammo that I've been able to find for 300 blackout. But I had, I won't even say it was a malfunction. It was a light primer strike or something to that effect. I am going to double check to make sure I put the, the trigger spring in correctly. Yeah, your hammer strings on backwards. What did you learn in school today, dear little boy of mine? Um, I looked at my my other, my AR-15, and then I looked at this one, and they look like they're both put in right. I think it was just, once again, I think it's just the ammo that I'm dealing with. Um, just so that everybody knows. But uh, that's what we're dealing with. Um... This thing was just amazing. Um, I was actually kind of, I was actually kind of shocked by the um, how much, how much. Uh, it's not like it's a lot more kick. It just had a little bit more punch to it for 300 blackout. But I was uh, really, really impressed. Um, but we're just gonna go over it real quick. Let me uh, double check, make sure I've got all these parts correct. An LBE. I believe that's what it's called, LBE, lower parts kit, that's pretty much the trigger, you know, all the little pieces and parts that make the lower pretty much what it is. On the back end, we have a CMMG everything, a CMMG buffer tube, buffer spring, all that stuff on the back end, and then we've got a Magpul MOE buffer uh, or uh, stock. Very, very basic, Not a, didn't go crazy on this one. I am going to be changing parts and adding some. Uh, there's going to be a um, uh, three times magnifier by Vortex going on here. Uh, I'm still up in the air if I'm going to put irons on this. If I do put irons, they're going to be offset, but this is going to be more or less a, more of my hunting rifle. But um, I'm going to end up putting a magnifier on the back end. I'm going to put a some kind of grip some kind of foregrip on the front and that'll be pretty much it I probably will change out the stock but once again I just wanted to get this thing completed and done with and so far the I think I put out 45 40 45 rounds ish and had only one light primer strike so I'm not going to complain I am just going to double check a couple things on the internals just to make sure that they that it was nothing I did, but everything on the upper half from Bear Creek Arsenal has been amazing. So this Bear Creek Arsenal 16-inch 300 blackout is awesome, awesome. Uh, I was really, really happy and really, really impressed. Um, you know, I can't wait to get it out there, out in the woods, and uh, hopefully I can take me down a nice uh, pig for Christmas. So that's the goal. But we are going to go through some specs on this Bear Creek 300 Blackout upper. It's um, 16 inches. Uh, it's a parkerized barrel. Um, it's got a Picatinny upper uh, M-Lock rail. It is 4150, I believe it's chromoly. Uh, or, let me, uh, it is 4150 Valladium steel um, with a parkerized finish. Uh, it is a side charging upper as well. You can get this in uh, rear charging if you want, 
I prefer the side charging. Um, it's I don't know what it is about it. I just really enjoyed it so far. Um, it's got a one and eight twist. Um, it's a heavy heavy barrel. Um, and with like I said, with the polymer lower, I kind of I kind of I don't know what it is. I just kind of offset a little bit of weight, and it, it it actually feels really really good when you actually hold it. So um, you know, go with whatever you want. I personally like the polymer lower. So far, no problems. I'm just I know I'm not going to go and bang it around and try to beat it up real too bad. So um, the staking of the gas keys, they're good and they're not great. They're not bad. They're um, they're good. They're good enough. They're sufficient. Um, I'll, even on my uh, other AR, the seven and a half inch upper that I have, five five six, I haven't had any gas issues or anything. So you know, from what I know of, not an issue. Um, I know some people say there are, but I've never ran across any of these issues. So that being said, I you know, if you need to do more staking, do it yourself or have somebody else do it. All that good stuff, but I've never had issues. Um, it is the bolt itself is magnetic particle inspected, so if you're worried about that, you don't have to worry about that. That's a good thing. Um, the rail itself is 15 and a quarter inches. It's a 16 inch barrel. Um, it's M block, like I said, Picatinny up top. Um, and uh, it's a pistol length gas system as well. If you're worried, if you're thinking it's carbine or full length, it's not. It's it's actually pistol length. Um, in time, I may cut this barrel shorter and pin and weld it but as of right now as it sits I'm really really excited really really happy with the performance that I've seen just in the first 40 shots 45 shots that I've put out through it but this will go under some um, more modifications you know little things here and there I'm not going to do anything crazy to this um, I do have another polymer lower, and I plan on doing a two two. Hey, calm down, calm down. Um, I plan on doing another two two three wild uh, build, and that is going to be on the next one, and that one's going to be a little bit more longer distance. I'm probably going to make that one a 20 inch barrel, but once again, I'll probably I will be going with Bear Creek Arsenal on that. So uh, when that day comes. I'll let you know, but as of right now, the first 45 rounds have been really, really good. Um, everything about it's functioning very, very well, and I highly recommend it. If you need any discount codes, the links will be in the description below. And uh, you know me. I love every one of you. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. Get yourself over to Bear Creek Arsenal. Check out their, their complete array of of uppers that they do have for sale they do go pretty quickly um and i highly recommend that you get one especially in this day and age so and if you're looking for a discount code that i don't have listed in the links reach out to me at solo Yecker, the number two at gmail.com and if i can get you a discount code i will email that discount code to you and let you know what that is and uh, be very specific about what brand it is. Uh, put the SKU in there, or just give me a picture of the exact, the exact model that you're looking for, and I, I should be able to find you a discount code. So I'm going to get out of here. Thank you, Bear Creek Arsenal. You're an amazing company. And I'm going to get out of here. Solo Yacker. Deuces.
What's that? Five, five, six or two to three? Three, three on the blackout. Three hundred black. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Send the ball forward for a minute for me. I'm gonna get you some of my oil. Oh yeah, thanks.